Seeing as they are bizarre, seeing as Rosa Flores joins me now with the latest. So I know Chicago police just held a press conference about, about this tape. What did they say? What, what do we know about this? And Anderson, I just got off the phone with police with a few more disturbing details. They tell me that the victim in this particular case was targeted because he has a mental health challenge. Uh, they described him as someone who was very tender. And while it took some police work, they said, they were able to find the offenders, like you mentioned, four people in custody. But let me set the scene here. According to police, officers were patrolling on the west side of Chicago when they saw a man was disoriented and traumatized. So the police officer sent him to the hospital, actually, Anderson. And then there was a battery call that came in. Police officers responded to that. And they were able to link the evidence from this battery call to this disoriented man. And then there you have it, video on social media that was able to fill in the picture. Now, before we show you these, this, this video, we should warn you that is, it is very disturbing. Take a look. Yes, grabbing that nigga. Oh cut my oh, gee, boy. Damn, you cut it. I cut a whole patch out of this boy. Why you do that? And no blood on the blade. No, you did. Donald Trump. Oh my brother, my. Hey, right here. He represents Trump. We this PBG high head. Hey, this PBG high head speaking. Y'all see this right here? We finna put this in the, in the trunk and we finna put a brick on the gas and let that <laughs> You understand? Know so that that was broadcast live on from that on social media while they while they were doing that, right? And then, I mean, they're talking about Donald Trump. They're saying, uh, uh, I mean, it seems like there's, uh, in in their words, some sort of a racial dimension to all this. You know, it really does sound like that, Anderson. We asked the police about that, and of course, the obvious question is, is this a hate crime? Is this somehow related to politics and, and all the tensions post the election? And uh, police say that at this point they're still investigating, but they do believe, they tell me, that this is more related to this young man's uh, mental health challenge. Now, you saw in that video, he's white. The offenders uh, you saw in that video are black. So it definitely raises all of these these questions. But at this point, they still say they, they are still investigating.